All right, guys, last video, part four. I think I'm going to be able to get it done. Part four might be long, but uh, it'll get done. Um, so again, record collection, last stack. Um, if you see anything you like, please PM me if you want to buy or trade. Get right into it. Beautiful Nancy Sinatra. Sorry about the glare, guys. Uh, this is her album, Sugar. Um, love that song of hers. These boots are made for walking. Unfortunately, that's not on here. Um, but Stu got Sweet Georgia Brown, and Mama Goes Where Papa Goes, and Sugar Town. A lot of great songs on here. Um, don't see the date on here, but it's the 60s. It's from the 60s. Uh, this is really cool. This is The Hobbit based on the original version of The Hobbit, written by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, it does have the 12-page book of folklore illustrations from the Rankin-Bass animated film. Uh, that's the soundtrack there. Disneyland Records, very, very cool, hard to find. Uh, this is another really cool one. This is a story of Dracula, the Wolfman, and Frankenstein. I believe this is Neil Adams' art on this. Uh, comes with the book and, of course, the record. In great condition. Okay, next up, Steve Martin. Comedy is not pretty. You ain't kidding. Great album artwork inside there. There's the man himself. He's got cool shoes. Great comedy album. Uh, Billy Squire, I believe he's Australian, if I'm not mistaken. Great album, 1984. Um, Eye on You, it's a great song. Awesome album. We got Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell, great album cover artwork. Uh, it's from 1977. Love that album. Got a couple of foreigner albums here. This is Head Games. Um, it's got Dirty White Boy. And this one, Foreigner 4. This one's got Jukebox Hero, Waiting for a Girl Like You, and Urgent. Classic songs. And we got Ozzy Osbourne, Speak of the Devil. The record jacket here is almost mint condition from 1982. Both records are inside. Recorded live at the Ritz. All his hits are on here. Then we got Night Ranger. Uh, this is Midnight Madness. It's got Sister Christian. And this one has never been opened. Still sealed. So that's very cool. Then we got the Knack. But the little girls understand. Great album. Angel Witch, Frontal Assault. Great artwork on the cover. Awesome 80s heavy metal band from Killer Watt Records. We got Def Leppard Pyromania. A lot of classic tunes on that album. And we got The The, Infected, great album art. This is 1986 from Epic Records. Steve Miller Band, Book of Dreams. Got some damage here on the back, but you got Jet Airliners on here, Jungle Love. 
great songs. Another Steve Miller album. This is Fly Like an Eagle. Um, you have Take the Money and Run. Great album. Okay, and you got the Moody Blues, A Question of Balance. Great artwork there. Album plays great. Genesis, Invisible Touch. Got the embossed hand on there. 86, Phil Collins, of course, Invisible Touch, Land of Confusion, In Too Deep, just a bunch of classic tunes. Uh, then we got uh, Metalocalypse. This is Deathlock, Death Album 2. Disc. Sorry for the glare, guys. This album rocks. This one is probably not for sale or trade either. I love this album. Love the cartoon. Adult Swim rocks. Uh, then we got U2 Live under a blood red sky. It's a mini LP. Got Sunday, Bloody Sunday. Sheena Easton features the hit single Morning Train. Used to have such a crush on her back in the day. Molly Hatchet, Flirting with Disaster. Great album cover art. I think that's also Ken Kelly, but don't quote me on that. Uh, Rolling Stones, Tattoo You. Not a huge Rolling Stones fan, but I'm a fan of tattoos, so when I saw this at the thrift store for like a dollar, I think. Had to get it just because of the tattoo um, relation. A couple of Humble Pie records. This is Humble Pie Thunderbox. Nice little explicit art right there. Some naked girlies on the back. Humble Pie is a great band. Uh, I can't see the copyright date. But this is Humble Pie Lost and Found. Some great tunes on here. We got Uriah Heep. With the naked woman on the cover. Great, great artwork. 1978. Uh, then we got Ted Nugent, the Nuge. This is Double Live Gonzo. Storm Troopin's one of my favorites by him. And it's just an instrumental, go figure. Uh, Transvision Vamp, kind of an alterno pop type deal going on with these guys. Love their stuff. BMG Records. We got Helix, No Rest for the Wicked. Another 80s metal band. Got some devil horns. Uh, we got Helix Wild in the Street. It is still sealed. It's coming apart though. It's got the circle punch out there, but it is still sealed. Never been opened. Uh, Black Sabbath Live at Last. Great album. You got Sweet Leaf on here. War Pigs. Paranoid. Uh, Black Sabbath Paranoid. Damage to the cover there. Love Black Sabbath. Then we got Black Sabbath, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. A great artwork by Drew Struzan.
1974. And you got autograph. We'll turn up the radio. Very cool. This is a Grandmaster Flash, the source. Got uh, the song Fastest Man Alive, great song. Then you got Yes, Tales from Topographic Oceans. Great album by Yes. Then the classic, another album that should be in everybody's collection, Michael Jackson Thriller. And that's all I'm going to say. Awesome album. Then you got uh, this one. This is Teen Idols. It's a compilation album. It's got all four records. They're all, it's got both records. I can't talk. It's from 1980. But you got uh, artists as Neil Sedaka, Bobby V, Johnny Tillotson, Tab Hunter, Fabian, Conway Twitty, Dion, Pat Boone, Del Shannon. Frankie Avalon, the Everly Brothers, all the doo-wop songs of the 50s. Then we got Saxon, awesome European, I believe, uh, metal band. This is Innocence is No Excuse. Great photography on the front and back cover. This one's also still sealed, never been opened. Love this band here. This is Mountain Live. Uh, it is what I paid for it, ten bucks. Um, love the artwork on the covers. Love the music. Leslie West is just a funny-looking beast, though, from Windfall Records. Um, 1972. This is their live album. Uh, and then this is The Best of Mountain. All their hit songs are in here. It's, they kind of did the... There's Lovely West there. Look at that big beast of a man. He did this the album kind of backwards. I'm not sure why, but great stuff. This is the album right here. Nantucket Sleigh Ride that first introduced me to them. I saw it in a thrift store and I was like, man, what is this? And just looking at the artwork and inside, it's actually got the lyric sheet and I think like some pictures or something like that. It's got all the inserts. Um, anyway, I was like, you know, for a dollar, the great artwork. It's got the inserts. If I don't like it, I can sell it. Now, this was a long time ago that I got this, though. But I picked this up. And I actually really love the music. It's more prog rock type stuff. But check them out. Uh, Judas Priest, Point of Entry. Love Priest. Rob Halford is a rock god. This is Judas Priest Unleashed in the East, live in Japan. Great stuff. Uh, then you got Judas Priest, Sin After Sin, one of their earlier albums. 1977. Again, awesome stuff. Then you got Judas Priest, Sad Wings of Destiny. This is a pretty valuable album. I think it's their first. If not their first, then it's probably their second. 78. So this is Sin After Sin, I guess, would be first. I get them mixed up. But this great early Priest I love their earlier stuff better than their later stuff, I think. But I love their later stuff, so don't get me wrong. All right, on Sugar Hill Records, this is the Sugar Hill Gang. we got some writing up there, but this is Eighth Wonder from 1981. Early, early rap. Then you got a metal band called Moore. This is Warhead. Look at these nerds. Look at that guy. There's their drummer. But the music's actually pretty good. It's from 1981. Uh, this album is awesome. This is Lordy, a double album. It's called The Arocalypse. Signed by all members. Um, I've shown this before a few times. 
I ordered it directly from the N Records. And there's their sheet there. The records are bloody vinyl. I think they're blue with like blood on them. I don't want to waste any more time by opening it up and showing you, but it's badass. Not for sale or trade. Seen them live. Uh, Ted Nugent Penetration. Again, I bought this for the tattoo relation, but I do like Ted Nugent. It's 1984. We got Europe, the final countdown. I think they're a Swedish metal band on Epic Records. Loved that song when it came out, the final countdown. The rest of the album is not the greatest, especially their song Ninja. That was really stupid. Um, great album cover artwork. We got the Japanese metal band Loudness, Thunder in the East. These guys are awesome. Love this band. Ozzy Osbourne, The Ultimate Sin. Some great songs on here. Great artwork. We got Keel, another 80s metal band. This is the Right to Rock. Look at that guy. Uh, it's got the Loan for Promotional Use Only gold stamp on here. This album's produced by Gene Simmons. Then you got a double album here um, by Paul Wall. This is the People's Champ. Um, promotional copy, not for resale. It's got both records in there. Pretty cool. Then you got the Power Station, 33 and a third. Robert Palmer is the lead singer. Some Like It Hot. Loved that song when it came out. A couple more guys. Soundtrack to Star Wars. I think it still has the booklet inside. Very cool. Then we got a couple of Phil Collins albums to close it out. This is Hello, I Must Be Going. And Face Value. Awesome drummer, awesome singer. It's got uh, In the Air Tonight on here. Alright guys, that's it. That's my record collection. Four videos. Hope you enjoyed. Um, again, if you have any condition questions, please PM me. If you want to want to buy or trade, uh, again, preferably I'd like to sell. Um, hit me up with your wants, what you're interested in, and uh, that's it for me, guys. Talk to you later. See you.